بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما and whatever the certifications what you will see like in the basic certification concepts you will you have, you'll see in the cisco you have something called devnet certifications now this devnet certifications are more uh, into the into the kind of coding here like software kind of certifications now if you compare these devnet certifications like the traditional certifications what we have like we have something called ccna ccmp and ccie in different tracks we have routing we have enterprise track now uh, and then security and then data center you know service pod there are different multiple tracks now these specific tracks are more focused on the certifications for the it professionals and the network engineers okay so again this cisco devnet certifications is specifically designed to validate the software skills the software development skills or using the apis so whatever i explained previously so so the software skills include again the programming or developing the applications or developing some develop operations and automation related uh, options like you might be doing some enterprise automation or cloud automation cloud network automation or data center network automation or it can be a service pod related automation task so where you are a network engineer and you want to automate your task so you have a different specializations in that so so with these certifications probably the cisco is expecting you to have some kind of uh, some kind of coding skills like the python skills or uh, json data format options and understanding and using the rest apis and also apart from that you also need to understand the uh, cisco platform capabilities like let's say you are trying to do some kind of automation for security then you need to understand how the security devices behave how they work how they are configured little bit more details on that you don't need to be expertise but you need to know the behavior so that you can develop the code for the automation of the security so similar way depending upon which track you choose for automation or which uh, which platform you work depending upon that you will be uh, responsible for developing some kind of codes uh, probably with the with this devnet certifications here so once you are done with the certifications any specialization so you'll be able to build some kind of software applications as a part of the team and you can build some kind of network automation scripts to automate your task and also you can build some kind of tools which can be used for logging monitoring as well as testing your network so again in this we have different tracks you have something called devnet associate more like a cisco ccna where you are going to build some foundations of the uh, of the software skills more like a basic foundational skills where you understand the different uh, automation tools and then the apis so whatever the concepts we covered in the basic sdn probably most of the concepts will be covered here and once you are done with this you can move on to the specialist certification now this is where you will start focusing on specific specialization like whether you want to automate the enterprise network like routing switching network or whether you want to automate your cloud networks or data center networks or service pod networks like that you go into the individual specialization depending upon your interest and the requirements and then you can go with something called devnet core paper plus any one specialization paper or concentration paper you can get your ccnp certification ccnp devnet professional you get that's what cc uh, devnet professional that's what we call as not exactly ccnp and also there is a devnet expert level certification so as of now there is no expert level program at this point of time but probably in the future cisco expects to release uh, sometime in the future where you will be having a devnet expert certification as well where you will be more expertise in um, in kind of software skills like programming application development and automation options <laughs>